Now we can see in detail the big board power on command circuit and some on the other connections that we previously described. The 12 volts goes through rectifiers U1 and 2, then the 12 volts goes to U3, an end MOSFET and channel MOSFET used as a switch. When the gate of U3 goes to high, U3 acts like a closed switch and let the 12 volts to supply the power transistor section, the control circuit of the power transistors and the board too, header pin 3 and 28. U3 gate is controlled by a circuit represented in the schematic. The command from the small board arriving on either pin 30 shorts it to ground, then it powers the section with the operational amplifiers and at the end it also put in conduction U3, letting the power transistors section to be supplied with also the other sections. The command from small board either pin 30 also arrives on this part of the circuit directly enabling the U3 conduction. The control circuit for power transistors is incomplete. If you need to complete it, just continue my work. I identified the main components of the big board and you will find a link to download the PDF datasheets on the video description with also a Word file containing all these technical descriptions. I did the same job on the small board by numbering each integrated circuit on both sides of the board because in this case we have a lot of components on the other side. Here it is the circuit description. On either connector pin 26 and from pin 4 to 12 we find the ground signal directly connected to the battery negative terminal through the big board connector pin 1. U24 is a voltage regulator with a 5 volt output receiving voltage from either pin 29. It is the battery voltage coming from the big board without other circuits in the middle. The 5 volts powers the fiber optic transceiver U27 and it is the only part of the circuit always on. The components U20, U12, U2 and U9 are switched on only if a command is received from the fiber optic. U21 receives the 12 volt input coming from either pin 28 and pin 3. U21 is a PIP MOSFET used as a switch to power on U20, U12, U2 and U9. In fact, the P-MOSFET U21 acts like, like a closed switch when the gate is at zero volt, while it is open when the gate is at 12 volt. I will show you how U21 is controlled by the fiber optic transceiver on the next schematic.